What's up, Colts? It's your boy, Kaz, coming from Midnight Lights Gaming, bringing you the best gun and trinket farming I've been able to find so far in Deathloop. It's not just great trinket farming and gun farming. It's also incredibly fun. I found over 28 trinkets and over five great guns all in one time and one location. So this is also a full in-depth guide of a mission, that, like a side mission that comes up at Carl's Bay for an experiment that's going on. And so I'll walk you how, through how to trigger that and how triggering that leads to amazing gun and trinket farming. I had so much fun making this video because it really gets into the depth and the humor of Deathloop. Uh, but if you like it, if it does anything for you, give, you, give it a thumbs up and subscribe you can also follow me on twitter at midnight lights and yeah i hope you enjoy this video as much as i enjoyed making it so i broke this down into phases so you could go through the sequence to farm the guns and trinkets starting with phase one the control group where you want to start in the morning and you want to go to carl's bay so again it's morning in carl's bay and then that's gonna you're gonna find a recorder that helps trigger the mission that then you have to like follow through with the mission to then farm the trinkets and the guns which you're gonna want to do when you come out of carl's bay and your little office thing you're gonna go to the left and then you're going to probably have a conversation with juliana so that's all i'm doing here i'm going to the place where we're going to find the recording and this is a place you just want to remember we're going to be spending a lot of time here it says forever young crossed out then it says forever drunk so i'm just going to make my way into that building kind of uh neutralizing the folks around me All right, so now that you're in here, you want to find that recording. It says unethical waffling. I'm just going to come out here to show you one more time. You come out of the tunnel there, and then you go into the building that says forever young slash drunk. And then when you're in this first floor, this is where a lot of action is going to happen. This is like home base. We're going to go ahead and listen to this video together. When G didn't authorize it. For once, I'm making the call instead of that bit. You think she'll let us get her equipment again on the next loop? This is our only shot at this. You'll never create a breach stable enough to be a... Exactly. I'm not creating a stable anything. My modifications to the generator will destabilize the loop itself. You're insane. Let me finish. Sure, there'll be some slippage, but that's why we brought shotguns. Kill anything that looks like it came through the breach. Use the portable harvester to capture their anomalous energy. Bring that back to this machine for processing. Transfer the energy? Check. Most powerful anomaly-based tech thus far? Check. Breakthrough? Check and fucking mate! I'm not doing it! Ah! Shove your ethical waffling, Susan. Anything's an acceptable sacrifice for this breakthrough. All right, let's do a little recapping. So we know there's some Eternalist doing a hush-hush experiment. Behind Wenji's back, there's only one shot. Damn the consequences, it's very risky. So they brought shotguns, that's gonna come up later. Uh, so the experiment is opening the breach, killing what comes through, harvesting all the energy for some gnarly trinkets, which I think we'll take from them. And yeah, this guy's kind of condescending to Susan, I think, just saying. So is it reckless or brilliant? I don't know, the afternoon's gonna tell. That brings us to the next phase, phase two, controlling the variables in the afternoon in Carl's Bay. So you're gonna have to play through noon or skip noon to get here, but this is where every really everything's gonna happen. The last thing was really just to trigger this. And when you do that, when you do morning in Carl's Bay, like we did in that first snippet, it will trigger this, this some enterprising scientists are running an unauthorized experiment this afternoon in Carl's Bay. You highlight that and then you can kind of track your mission and that will help you get around. So let's go ahead and do our loadout. So I did have Golden Harvest, which is the tastiest, best trinket for this mission. I don't know when I got it or how, but it is massively helpful if you have it. If not, I would just do double jump here. You also just want to have great health and regenerate health. So Comeback Kid really helped me a lot too. 
and the next one is never say die which is maximum health is greatly increased which again i can't recommend those two enough and the last one is turtle shell which greatly reduces damage generally your character trinkets should just really be prioritizing your health and safety you know you just are gonna take some damage you're just gonna take a little bit of damage in this mission so yeah i just showing you this because i didn't do double jump I very rarely take it out. I just took it out for this mission because these other ones help make everything so much easier. I have Shift and Carnesis. And then so with this mission, it's very important you bring a one-handed gun that's very good. So for me, that was the Limp 10 with the Vampire um, characteristic or whatever that comes with it, which recovers health when you do damage. That's massive. Heritage Gun's just my favorite gun. And then the PT-6 nail gun is huge too because we're basically going to clear out the whole level of all the bad guys all the eternalists so that's where we're going let's explore carl's bay in the afternoon and as we get there i'll just say this is one of the best parts right now so i'm gonna go off mic so you can see and hear what happens so you saw those shots kind of ring out and everyone's rushing in there and so phase three is a scientist is dead. So the scientist that was in there, I don't know if Susan ratted him out or what happened, but yeah, he did not survive the experiment. Someone must have got word and ended him. I don't know if one of these people are Susan. They all seem to be like lighting up a cigarette. Maybe they feel bad for killing their experiment buddy. But you want to just clear out the room so you can have all the time in the world to get ready for everything. And that's all I'm doing here. And then you can see this, though that blue graphic is like the whole process for harvesting and the experiment. You can see that's the lever we pull. And when we do, we have four minutes to gather a bunch of residuum. I'm going to keep going through all this over a couple times. There's a recording we need to listen to. Before we do, though, you can see the shotgun that they brought to defend themselves is on the ground. I don't think it did a very good job, but it is a very good shotgun. Pick it up and use it if you need it. So I'm going to play the recording and meet you on the other end of that. ...are all primed and ready. Stage one, switch on the generator. This should create a breach in the space-time field. Objects charged with anomalous energy should immediately infiltrate our timeline. Stage two, neutralize objects or people that appear due to the resulting breach. Stage three, use portable harvester to collect anomalous energy once enough energy is collected dock the portable harvester into the infusion machine and stage four activate oh with this much energy we'll make a trinket so powerful that wenji evans will have no choice but to step down as head scientist <laughs> Dang, that's some cool stuff, Wenjis. I don't know if Susan ratted this guy out and the Wenjis came for him or what, but that is hilarious and amazing drama in this side mission. So cool from Deathloop. So let's talk about our plan. We're going to harvest residuum. That's the big goal. So we're going to do that in random objects throughout the level while we clear out all of the enemies on the level, all of the Eternalists. And then while we do that, there are some Eternalists with great weapons and trinkets along the way that we're going to take as part of harvesting. Then we're going to come back here. We're going to hit the switch and all of these Eternalists are going to teleport in. And when we kill them, they leave residuum. So we're going to get that then come back here again turn on the machine that makes the trinkets and when we do that a bunch of eternalists are going to try come try and kill us we're going to protect the house and then we're going to have um, four amazing trinkets uh, that this machine makes as well as all of the guns and trinkets from the rest of the level so this is phase five harvest and clear things out now so this is the harvester you want to carry it with you there's a gauge on it we only want purple nothing else will do you can get not as good trinkets if you bring it back before purple but we want purple and you really have two options you can go do what i'm about to do which is harvest all of the random objects around the level to give you this really big boost so that when you flip the switch later on and all those guys teleport in you, you don't they're only there for four minutes so you have a real kind of tight timeline to get into the purple there but you can skip this whole part you could come in flip the switch 
kill all of the guys that teleport in and it will fill you up to purple if you kill enough of them in four minutes it's just those stakes are really high and you don't get to farm quite as many trinkets and guns as if you go around and clear out the level so that's what i'm doing now i think it's the best way to go all of this will make even more sense when you get to the as you get through the end of the video so all we're doing right now is clearing out the level we haven't started the experiment we're just trying to get this thing full of as full of residuum as we can before we open the breach and all of those eternalists come in so again that's all we're doing we're looking for that those glowy objects that are random they're going to be different for you than they are for me on any given level at any given time and i'm just going to clear out bad guys uh eternalists So I'm going to fast forward here. I'm just going around harvesting everything I can. And when I fast forward, I'll stop here and there just to kind of keep you updated and keep you going. But all I'm doing here is just running around looking for those glowy objects, picking them up and clearing out the bad guys until I can get to the Eternalists that have the really good stuff. So there's a couple century gun turret guns I've got to take care of and hack them a jig. Then you have some options with these turret guns. You can leave them out so they get some of the guys that teleport in. That can be really good. The other thing you can do to farm them is put your harvester down, pick up the turret, and bring it to the Holoquin. So in this level, another way to harvest really good trinkets is to bring any batteries you find. And there are batteries in every nullifier and every turret gun so bring that here to this holoquin and it will uh for every battery you bring it'll bring you a purple trinket so just another great way to farm great trinkets in this level it's really pretty unbelievable and you could see while you're carrying that suitcase the turret gun and you're carrying the harvester you can you only have your left hand you can't like put the harvester into your left hand so uh, that's you'll you'll see later on. That's why we really needed a, a good single-handed weapon. So we're coming up on one of our uh, Eternalists that has some great trinkets to harvest. So that's all I'm doing here in this section by the hangers. I'm just gonna clear it out so I can get to the trinkets. That's the guy right there that has the trinkets. Rain and trinkets, baby. So yeah, I was, I'm just running around seeing if those two other guys in there were going to come get me. So here are the trinkets. I'm going to pick those up. They also, you almost always get two tribunals here. And I've had pretty success, pretty good success with those two tribunals being less loud ones, which is really great because um, you just don't find silence guns in this game except the PT-6. So going back, getting my harvester. And going to fast forward as I just, again, harvest every random object I can find that has residuum and clear out the level. And then here's another place that has another externalist with some good trinkets. So you want to try and take out the gold guys first. Always those guys are scouts. And if they catch wind of you, they're going to call for backup. And backup is not good. I'm just clearing this out. There goes another scout. And remember that glow is good. So when you see people who have that sort of translucent oil slick glow coming off of them, those are the Eternalists that have trinkets and typically have good guns too. So we're still rocking it. We're up to 12 trinkets and five good ass guns with that rapier. I used to use rapier all the time, but that's a really good one. There's also a pretty good PT6 right there. So Again, this is just Farm City, baby. You just get all these trinkets and all of these guns. Now, you can only take three with you, so you got to decide how you want to manage that in terms of harvesting. But I still think it's, it's well worth it, uh, doing what you can. Running around, harvesting, 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 and taking out any other externalists I find. There's a small group here that don't have any goodies. 
I'm ex just scouring the level. Ken, you don't have to do all this. You can kind of see I'm already in the blue on my harvester. So, you know, you could say it's a little bit of overkill. I do want to slow things down here because there's another Eternalist with really good trinkets and weapons here. So this part is near the hangars. I think it's basically the furthest east on the map where there's always that guitar player playing, which you'll see up there. Yeah, you can kind of see him up there. But there are those good trinkets. There's that translucent, that sort of glow coming up. And I'm using this wonderful gun to help me get health as well. Drop my harvester during combat. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, especially when the, the eternal is sort of portal in. But I find when you're clearing the level out, it's easier, easier just to drop it so you can aim. All right, and here's a, a purple PT-6, which is a huge deal. Like when I first got this, it was a total game changer. So still harvesting our butt stuff. We got 18 trickets and six good ass guns. So that we're doing it. All right, fast forwarding through more scouring and getting residuum. Another turret gun here for you to get a battery from and bring to the Holoquin. That would be even more trinkets and another purple trinket what i actually do in this and sometimes when i went through this it really helped what i'm doing is i'm getting this turret gun though having a little trouble doing it and bringing it to a place where i think that the teleporting eternalists are going to come in so this will just help someone do the work for me a little bit later on which you'll see but clearly i'm struggling with it Right now I'm just looking for a main thoroughfare to put down the turret gun and this one's as good as any. So I put it there in case it helps. When I do my full run through, I don't I don't actually think it works, but I still think it's a good strategy. There are a couple guys in this sort of green foresty bar place. Just so you know too. Harvesting residuum, running around. Alright, phase this is when it gets real, y'all. Phase six phase six prepare the subject so this is all about me just getting my ammo and my health so right near that room that has the that the experiment is in is that health regenerator which uh, recharges after every time you use it so remember that there is the room with the experiment that we've spent a bunch of time in and now I'm just running to the place where I know there's ammo that again that's where the health is there and this is where the nearest place I know to get ammo, which again, you can just pull that as many times as you need to get ammo. So that's what I'm doing. Just remember, you can never get PT6 ammo from these things, which kind of stinks. But it doesn't matter because I'm not. the PT6 is pretty much done at this point. We're going to move on to uh, the shotgun when we absolutely need it and the machine gun for our one-handed shooting because we're gonna have the harvester in our right hand and we're gonna have the machine gun in our left hand all right phase seven once more into the breach so it is a good idea to pick up that if, if you don't have it yet um, you can pick that up now in case stuff gets real bad and you need to drop the harvester and pump some shotgun rounds out if not no big deal you can pick it up later so this is what you need to do you need to active or excuse me you don't do that yet don't activate the trinker yet just kind of showing you around the room and eventually we're gonna need to use all of that after we do some harvesting of the guys that teleport in but we're gonna pull this switch you can see at the top of it we have four minutes so pull that switch and all of these guys are gonna teleport in get your good single-handed gun out the first person always pops right there and then there's someone on the roof and then your harvester harvests all the time. You never have to press anything. So you just need to be near them and it will harvest. So I'm just looking around for these guys. And this is a good thing. You cleared the whole level out. So the only people around are the people that you need to kill. And you can harvest for a ton of residuum. So I'm going to pause for a second because they do you a huge favor by all of the people who, all the Eternalists you can kill that have residuum, have these huge beams coming out of them. So that's all you have to do. You just have to look for those. And like I said early on, you could start by doing this. You could just harvest 
the guys that teleport in and hope that you get up to purple it's just it's a lot more difficult to do it that way and you won't get as many trinkets as you would if you went around clearing out the whole level so i take my time a little bit in this because you can see i'm almost at purple already if you jump right to this when you come to carl's bay in the afternoon you're gonna need to be running around like a maniac right now going to every one of these beams killing them as fast as you can getting the residuum from them and then moving on to the next one of course you're also going to be navigating other eternalists throughout the level so that's why i like doing it this way and it's just a ton of fun it's cool to clear out a level i think getting some more residuum from the eternalists that teleported in this one finds me and you can see i'm at purple now and colt will give you an indication that he's done he'll say something about science is cool or science is legit or whatever now the thing you need to remember is every bit of residuum you've ex encountered in this level has gone into that thing so right now you have no residuum to infuse anything so another reason to do it the way i'm showing you is now every time you kill one of these teleported in beaming residuum havers you can pull the residuum so now all these trinkets you get all these weapons you get you'll have enough to infuse them a couple times the first time i did this and finally got through it i didn't have any residuum to infuse anyone or excuse me infuse any of the the good stuff any of the stuff we harvested so just running around running around getting all these guys and then there's a big sound like a big loud bang that kind of tells you you're out of time and don't worry you don't have to like have the harvester in there by then or anything all right final phase this is where it gets real this is defending the thesis so yeah um now we we've got we're in purple that's good that shotgun's there we're gonna put the harvester in this trinket maker and this is when i think if you don't have a shotgun you should definitely pick this one up and i do even though i have another shotgun but i'm pretty much relying on my machine gun and shotgun at this point because when it's go time it's go time baby so you turn on the trinket making machine and colt's like it's making a lot of noise and a ton of eternalists are gonna come after you and that's why i just love the shotgun in this little room but before this, you definitely should have uh, refilled your health again, like I showed you, and uh, made sure you're, you're full ammo going into this sort of blitz time. Ed? I don't know how that shotgun didn't get him, but the machete is always handy. And so they kind of come in through this doorway. They also come in the top. You need to look out. That, per that Eternalist does not want to die. And they also come in from that window behind me. And I don't know if Eternalists do it, or if it's a timer but the trinket maker machine will deactivate and so you just want to check it every now and then to reactivate it it might be waves and when a wave's done you have to reactivate it i think that the eternalists come in and and flip it and so all i'm showing you right now is a fast forward version of me of just trying to protect this house clear everyone out um that machine gun helps me from having to go get life but i do venture out in between a phase or um just at a good moment to go get some ammo and some health and then yeah i'm just laying waste to these eternalists and i do all right because i have all the health things you might have to be a little more careful if you don't have quite as good of guns and trinkets so here we are that's the last eternalist and then as so it's so wonderful with this game when you're done the music will kind of turn down and and fade out and you've got four really good trinkets in here to go along with the whatever however many we've gotten up to this point so take those four trinkets and then yeah you can't like do it again i, I can't get the harvester back out or anything or pull the lever again so we're looking pretty good scour around a little bit uh you want to pick these up even if you're not going to keep them because you can um you know turn them into residuum when you go through the infusion so 28 trinkets and six badass guns when all said and done there's more too i think i lost count of trinkets at some point there's so many but make sure you pick them up so you can turn them in for more residuum i went around and 
found a couple more objects to get the residuum to infuse everything but that's it y'all that's the full in-depth guide for the carl's bay experiment it's also the best way i found to harvest some really good guns and some really great trinkets i hope that video helped you again it's cause at midnight like gaming Hit me up on Twitter, at Midnight Lights. Subscribe to my channel. I'm making a ton of Deathloop videos. I just love this game so much right now. The, every minute I play, I like it more. And yeah, give me a thumbs up if this video did anything for you. Thanks so much. See you around.